What is up guys and welcome back. So as in the previous video, we installed WordPress in it and now you can see that we're going to be building another website in this. Okay. As you can see that we created a normal um, personal website. Okay. And now in this video or in this section, we're going to be building a company based website for a company and we will be working up with this. So basically we will be using this whole team. Okay. We will be moving up with a different color customization. We'll be moving with some different things. Okay. You guys already know about this team. So this team works pretty amazing. Okay. So what we want to do is that we need to go to s1.completewpcourse.com slash wp dash admin and we need to log into our website so let's go ahead let's enter the username and password and we don't have to waste time right now okay we have to just do um start things right now okay and let's hit login and we are here in the login panel. So first it says that we need to update a password. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna make sure that everything is updated right here. I'm gonna come here, I'm gonna hit update. Okay, and everything is updated. So updated. So you can see in the updates panel, I can update everything. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna go back to updates page right now. I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna select all the teams and I'm gonna hit update. So you can see these teams are going to be updated right now. Okay, let's go ahead and let's go to the teams page and this is our whole team section. What we wanna do, we also wanna go to update the WordPress. So we need to update WordPress. Let's go ahead and let's hit update and you can see that WordPress is being updated. So there we go. You can see it has been updated. I'm gonna go to appearance and then I'm gonna go to teams and I wanna set up this WP, um, not WP Ocean, Ocean WP. Ocean WP team. This is the name of the team. So I want to go with this team or let's try another team right now. Okay. And we will be working up with that. So let's go to the popular tab and let's see if we can go with another team. So basically we can go with this Elementor plugin to design our inner side. Okay. And we basically need to work up with the header. This header is under the Ocean WP team. This is because we cannot edit the Elementor plugin with this. Okay. Um, I showed you this plugin that this plugin is used to create the content inside that. Okay. So I think this one is a bit better team. Okay. Um, yes. Or yes. Okay. Let's show, let's go ahead and let's hit install and we're going up with this mesmerized team. Okay. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to hit activate and this team is going to be activated. So I'm going to show you that how can you use different type of themes? So this team recommends the following plugin. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit begin installing plugin. I'm going to hit this, this, and let's go ahead and let's install these plugins. So we also want to install that Elementor plugin cause that is also important. I'm going to go to the plugins right now. I'm going to go to add new. And I'm going to come here. I'm going to hit this Elementor. Okay. Um, let's see if we have got the plugin. Elementor. Okay. Here we go. I'm going to get this and this is coming right now. Let's hit this. Activate. So this has been activated right now. Um, I'm going to go to my website. So let's have a look at how our website is looking. So we may see how it is. So this is how our website is looking. We have our post coming up right here and we have a footer right here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just come here. I'm going to go to the dashboard right now and I want to go to the settings and then let's go to the permalinks and let's change the permalink type. So I'm going to click come here and I'm going to hit post name. I'm going to come here and I'm going to hit save the changes. So make sure that you select this and let's go to the appearance and then menus and create a new menu and let's apply that menu. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to name my name to be menu one. I'm going to hit um, create menu. So the menu has been created and I want to add some links. So let's go ahead. Let's delete this and the post. Um, let's go to the custom links and let's add the custom links here. After that, we're going to be editing them. So um, let's add a hashtag right here and let's come here to the link text. Link text is going to be about. OK, um, we also want to create a new page and that will be um, services. Services. OK. Um, let's go ahead and we also want to create one more and that will be um, contact C O N T S C T. 
Let's go ahead and let's hit Add to Menu. So these are added to menu. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna hit um, Primary Menu, and I'm gonna hit Save. So you can see that you can choose the display location to be. So some teams have the main menu set as. Some team has the primary menu, secondary menu. And now let's go ahead and let's view our website that how it is looking right now. So here we go. You can see we have Home About Services Contact, and we are totally done with this. If we go to Rate This right now, you can see that the permalink is also set. Now, one more thing that we want to do is that we need to create a new page and that will be our home page. I'm going to go to page and I'm going to add a new page and I'm going to name it as home. OK, I'm going to come here and I'm going to hit publish. So we have these as well. OK, um, I'm going to go to publish. And we also want to create a new page and that will be our post page or blog page. Um, so it's going to be blog. Let's hit publish. And we want to do one thing, and that is we want to activate these plugins. We haven't activated them. This is the mistake that we're doing right now. I'm going to come here. I'm going to hit activate, and let's hit activate, and let's hit activate, apply. So here we go. Every plugin has been activated, and now let's have a look at our website. So this is how our website is looking right now. OK, this is looking pretty well. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to come here and I want to just go to the settings right now. And I want to go to the general tab or sorry, um, the writing tab. Sorry, the reading. What is happening to me? OK, and I want to make my home page to be my home page because we're going to edit that page. So I'm going to come here and this is also already set to home page because we installed that plugin and you can see that a home page is now front page basically. OK, and a post page is now blog page that has already been created. So it is looking cool already. I'm going to come here. I'm going to go to the pages. So this in by installing that plugin, what it did is that it automatically created some post and stuff stuff. OK, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to delete this plugin. Oh, sorry, the page. And I also want to delete this page as well. There we go. We have two pages right now. This is our main page and this is our blog page. So we're going to be editing this whole website in this. And I'm going to show you that how can you create, um, how can you edit this completely? How can you add some more stuff if you want to add and how we're going to do everything. So stay tuned and bye bye.